Merry Christmas, Twin Flames. I am pleased to present your Christmas reading um, on my channel. So I want to wish everyone happy holidays and give you a beautiful blessing and gift from your Twin Flames. So we're gonna be pulling cards from the Seasons of the Witch. We're also gonna be pulling cards from the Angels of Abundance, beautiful Christmas um, deck. And we're gonna be pulling cards from the loving words of Jesus, because this is the day that Christians celebrate Jesus's birthday. So let's find out, let's partake in some of the Yule energy. We've got self-care ornaments. And, oh, that's a guy. I have some great stuff to tell you about that. And mistletoe. So this Christmas, I want you, um, and, and most of you are divine feminines, but even if you're a divine masculine, I want you to really let yourself pamper yourself. It's, you know, you've spent maybe some time thinking of others, what to get others and wrapping presents and working, working, working. Um, and it's really time for you to, to shine like a star, to really um, do a lot of self-care, uh, put that extra conditioner in. Um, it, it goes in the physical, but like I'll, I'll talk about spiritual in a minute and what, what the message is here. And ornaments is, you know, not just about decorating your home or your tree it's about remembering that your body is an extension of you and your twin flame you know feels good it's not that they're they're attracted to you on a physical level but when you choose to adorn your body and take what god has has created with your body and then just adorn it it's really about honoring the sacredness of your body when you put earrings on or when you if you're a divine masculine like when you wear that you know nice sweatshirt that designer sweatshirt that you bought or get a divider just you know designer sweatshirt that you want to buy um or whatever it is right like when you choose to um not just like oh uh you know I, i'm not a material person so i'm not gonna like decorate myself or put on makeup or whatever you don't do it to get attention. You do it because it's honoring and adorning you and it actually really feels good. So give yourself permission to adorn yourself. So those of you watching this video, I want you to do one extra thing today, Christmas day, to adorn yourself. And, and it can be your body or it could be like, I don't know, like your, your table. Like put something, put like an ornament or decoration on your table. Decoration is divine. It's divine. It's um, my spiritual teacher, Shalia, really puts on, like, she does artwork with her eye makeup, right? It's not about getting oohs and ahs from other people. It's just because it feels good to her and she's doing it with God. So you can invite God to help you to um, really, like, you know, choose to do something more, like, adorning and, and uh, decorate yourself for yourself. This is for you. And it's going to feel really good. And you're going to feel like a prince or princess when you do that. Mistletoe. So this card says, What dreams may come from the borrowing of ivy held tight within the womb? A calling in of sorts. A spell from above. Holy holly. This is actually um, divine intervention of romance. And you may know that. Um, at least in Western culture, mistletoe, which grows in trees. It's kind of like a, it's actually a weed. It's, um, it's a weed that grows in trees. It's like a parasitic um, plant, but it doesn't, I don't think it can kill trees, but anyway, it forms these like clumps and balls of, of mistletoe. Um, and people have traditionally thought that if you stood under mistletoe, you had to kiss the person that you're standing up under the mistletoe with. And God, in a sense, is like, you know, telling you like, hey, you know, call in this romance with your twin flame. like. Don't, don't um, be ho-hum or humdrum about it. Like, don't, don't give up on that part of your journey. Like, really choose to allow yourself to have that romance, that beautiful romance that you desire. And so this is kind of spirit giving you a little boost here. Like, hey, do you want this? Do you choose it? So beautiful message. Let's look at the other decks. Okay, so like I said, because this is when we celebrate Jesus' birthday, we're going to be pulling cards from the loving words of Jesus. And these are writings that are taken directly from the Bible when Jesus spoke, paired with pictures. So let's see what we've got. 
can already start looking at the pictures. What message does Jesus want to communicate to you on your twin flame journey? I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. So it's important to be supported, to realize that like you already have um, guidance on the journey and that you don't have to do everything yourself, right? But because God and, and Spirit love you, they're providing a way for you to heal. So some of you who are watching this video may be like, well, if that's so, where's this path? Well, you're watching this video on my channel for a reason. And that may be because um, you're calling in the true spiritual teachings that are going to guide you to your harmonious twin flame union, to healing separation consciousness and no longer being in separation from your twin flame. Those are called the teachings of union. And um, after this video, I'll have it here. So you don't have to like write it down because it'll be in the description under the video. Go to twinflamesuniverse.com. Jeff and Shalia um, have provided the spiritual teaching that will help you heal separation consciousness from within and manifest your harmonious and flame union. And that is because, um, you know, when I came to their school, I had been calling it in. I'm like, all right, I've been talking to God for months before that. God, you wouldn't have put a desire in my heart if it wasn't meant to be fulfilled. You wouldn't be just dangling a carrot here. Please help me. I'll do, I'll do anything. Like, please send me some, some sort of way to heal. Like I'll follow it. Just, just, I need it. And I had been very sincere in asking. And then soon after that, I found Jeff and Shalia on YouTube. So God answers your prayers, but it's kind of like that parable of the man standing on a roof as his house is flooding and God sends like canoes and motorboats and helicopters. And he's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> and, and then when he dies, God's like, I sent you all these things and you didn't choose them. Well, let go of how you think the support's meant to look from God, right? So I let go and I chose to receive guidance. And so I became a student of Twin Flame Ascension School. So I wanted to share that with you because it does work. And I have healed things that I didn't think I'd ever be able to heal and come closer to harmonious union than ever before. Uh, have interaction with my twin flame, like healthy relating things that I never thought were possible. Be not afraid, only believe, right? So here's this other message for you. Like look at the, the girl being helped. You cannot heal on your own. I know that, that it requires you to, to do things like you're the one who makes the choice. The little girl's the one that makes the choice to reach out for Jesus's hand, right? But it's important to understand that the nature of the twin flame journey is not struggle bus on your own and like feel confidence because you did something by yourself. No, that's not where you get confidence from. Confidence is about realizing that you're making choices to be helped by another. And maybe some of you, like you see this picture and you're like, well, what if he lets go, right? That's where you're hurt uh, through support. Like when you've had support and it, the person that supported you um, wasn't really aligning with God and, and union consciousness and love. And maybe that support fell through. But even then, God still had your back because you're still here, aren't you? And so it's important for you to call in the support that's actually going to support you. And so I've given you an example of something that really works and is very loving and will never let you down as long as you're choosing it, right? I like this picture in the card of Jesus. Thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. So this is like a commandment. Um, Thou shalt love the Lord your God, right? And so it's not, uh, if you read this card one way, it sounds like, you know, you better love me or else. Like that. that's not what the passage means. It's saying like, you know, you're going to, you're going to love God because he's so great. Like you're going to see how much God does for you and you will, you will start to love him. And this is what your twin flame journey is about, is you coming into harmony with your creator. Some people say God, some people say universe. Hopefully you haven't been triggered by the Jesus stuff already. You know, <laughs> I, I am like multi, um, interfaith here on my channel, right? Because I'm a unionist. But it is when Christians celebrate Jesus' birthday. So I hope you can receive this message that God is good and God wants to love you even more. And on your that includes on your twin flame journey. 
And so let's go to the Angels of Abundance. This is one of my favorite decks for Christmas because it's like a big Christmas gift deck. So what have we got? What would God like to bless you with? Let's give you some more cards. I love this. I love more cards. Words of Abundance. God is your source. Interesting. And this is the card that's on the, the um, front of the deck. Visualize abundance in all forms. I'm going to read the bottom of the card and talk about them. Words of abundance. You have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerfully positive words. Always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms. And that is what you attract for yourself and others. So this is really about being mindful of the words you're using because words match your thoughts and beliefs. Your thoughts and beliefs create your reality. So if you're like, oh, I have, you know, debt. Well, if you say that word, you're going you're gonna to keep experiencing debt. If you say, oh, I am healing my, my debt and I, I'm, you know, successfully chipping away at my loans and I'm, you know, I don't have, I'm not accruing debt anymore. I just am paying them down and I'm being successful at that, then that's, you're going to have more success, right? So it's about how you, what words you use. God is your source. Everything you need is supplied by the infinite source of God and your faith opens the doorway to receive. In God, there is no lack or limitation. Rather, there is plenty of abundance for all to share. So maybe I like it. And this is really important because you might not see the link between your twin flame journey and finances, but your your finances are always, you know, the blocks there or your blocks to your twin flame journey. It's all one thing. You may not feel like you have enough or you may not feel like you can save or um, you may feel kind of like stagnant in your finances right now. And this is saying like one of the things that you're stuck on is like seeing God is limited and because you see that God's either God's love for you is limited or God is like not very abundant and so can't give you stuff, um, including your twin flame, because of how you see God, like that's what you're experiencing because you're choosing that reality. But if you choose to let that go and listen to the message of the card and remember that God is your banker and God is infinite and God has the power to give you everything from money to health to your twin flame and harmonious union and it is not withholding god's not withholding the stuff from you there's only a, a receiving block it's not that god's not giving it's that you are somewhere unable to receive god's love and so um remember that it's not other people or things or even you know clients or um parents that are are your source of this wealth or love and attention. Your twin flame is not your source of attention and love and money. It's God. God comes through people, but it's God, right, ultimately. And do you choose to receive all of the abundance that God is extending to you? This is hard for a lot of people to choose this abundance because we're so used to not having abundance that, you know, it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy or like a, a loop, right? To get off the loop, you make a new choice about the truth, about what you decide to believe, right? The truth is God wants to give you it all. You can have it all. So this is, the, this is really going into the next card. Visualize abundance in all forms. God gave you such great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful healthful, positive, and filled with blessings, and that is what you will experience. So really choose to see that, you know, all the things that you desire, like it may feel like work to visualize what you desire because you've maybe gotten into the habit of just looking at what you don't have and feeling upset about what you don't have. So much so that you forgot to visualize what you do want Vision boards are really good here. Like get out an old fashioned vision board, right? Like go get a Pinterest and make things that you desire. So it includes your, it includes all areas of your life from like, what do you want your house to look like? What do you, what do you desire, you know, to feel in your body? What kind of romantic things do you desire to do with your twin flame and harmonious union? Don't allow these stinking thoughts of, oh, 
well, they're not with me, so I might as well not even think about that, right? Like, don't, don't let that come in and stop you from envisioning what you want. It's actually your vision that creates the thing that you want. If you stop envisioning what you desire, you're not going to have what you desire. In fact, the desire may go dormant. Don't let your desires go to sleep. Like really, truly visualize what you want and choose it and claim it and know that it's yours. Your desire wouldn't be put in your heart to dangle a carrot in front of you and tease you. Your desire is put there by God. So choose to move toward that which you desire. That's a very powerful way to end the reading. If you like this reading, I am still offering my channeled message, channeled holiday message from your twin flame on my website until New Year's. So you can extend Christmas a little bit. If you got, you know, some Christmas money, you can give yourself a little gift here um, with a nice holiday reading. I really enjoy those. And it's got a channeled message from your twin flame. Um, and if you like this reading and like my channel, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas, one and all. Many blessings and harmonious union to all. Lots of love. Bye-bye.